my musical inspirations, of course, you have your usual suspects, Kanye, Wayne, Crit. Um, you know, I'm a Cole fan, Kirchu fan, all of those guys. I think the people that pe- people may not, you know, know, like I was talking about him, PJ Morton. Uh, so PJ Morton's dad actually um, is the pastor of a mega church in New Orleans, and I was a member of his church. Still haven't met PJ. When I do meet him, it's gonna be weird because it's like, oh, he, when he when he meets me, he's gonna know like, oh, I think I remember you. Like, so I don't know how that's gonna go. PJ Morton, uh, I'm a big Kirk Franklin fan. Uh, Kirk Franklin, it's the same. We in Chicago and Chance when he, you know, started working with Kirk and did what he did with him. I was just like, yes, I knew I wasn't the only rapper that liked Kirk Franklin. So big Kirk Franklin fan. I listen to rock sometimes. I, I'm not. I'm not deep to know like different artists like, oh, that's my guy, that's my guy. And another thing I do a lot of times is I listen to anime soundtrack. I don't know if uh, yeah, anybody's in the anime, but you know, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, big One Piece fan. So I'll watch it, Naruto. And uh, Naruto has a, a Hokage funeral. It's a theme, it's a piano theme. I actually learned how to play it. And it's just so sad. But like when I watch it, I'm like, oh, this makes me feel this way. And I apply that to my music. I'm like, okay, why does this make me feel like this? And I try to take why it makes me feel it. And, you know, I may change the progression or something like that, change keys, and then, you know, insert it. So that's a big influence. I listen to everything, though. I, I just love music. I can't say some of my favorite pianists because I don't know a lot of them. But I mean, obviously, you have Corey Henry, who's killing right now. Um, I like uh, Moonlight. I think it's Moonlight Sonata. That's Beethoven, I believe. He did Moonlight Sonata. I love that. There's a guy, he's uh, he's passed away now. His name is Michael Robinson. He used to play for Kurt Franklin. He played on uh, a song Kurt Franklin has called Hosanna. And at the beginning, he's like, come on, come on, Mike. And he played in my church growing up, but he passed. And so every time I hear that song, I'm like, yo, this is a major record. And he was on keys. And so uh, he was he was talented. Like I said, I'm I'm just a guy. I, like I come across them, and it's like, oh snap! But I, I'm not. I, I don't think I'm a. I'm the informant. Like I'm finna sit down and learn all the names. It's like once I hear it, I grab it and I, I, I put it in my box. I probably listen to it and not even know it's them though. You know. Uh, I think the the biggest thing, uh, influ- I guess, influential wise, was even just the state of Louisiana is so many plethora of different artists are from there. And I, you know, when I was younger, you had Wayne, and he he had crossed over to that mainstream level. But just locally, you had Boosie and Webby, Trill Fam. They they was hot. They was on fire. And so sonically, everybody from Louisiana is trying to sound like them. But I knew I wasn't that. Like I wasn't selling drugs. I wasn't so. But then you had artists like Jay Electronica, and when a Frank Ocean started popping again, I'm gonna say PJ Morton and I mean D1, like all these different people. And I said, yo. The best thing about Louisiana is the authenticity to be yourself. It's like it's too many different genres and too many different flavors in this one state. And so that's what pushed me towards not being afraid to, you know, even express some of the things that I do talk about my music was mainly because I was like, I'm from Louisiana. I was like, we can have Webby and we can have PJ Moore or we can have Jay Electronica and Lil Boosie all from the same state and, and be that different. I was like, what am I sitting here trying to sound like, you know, somebody else for? So. I think that's probably the biggest thing, just the state, and as well as New Orleans just kind of taught me, or you know, put it in perspective for me. Just keep my authenticity.